Hi everybody. <laughs> I'm at uh, Ells Creek and um, supposed to be sunny today or uh, it said mostly cloudy with a chance of sun I think <laughs> but it's snowing now um, so I'm attempting to hike into High Falls at Ells Creek in the winter and um, I've got snowshoes on this time the, uh, the path looks like somebody's been in here and packed it down but um, I might take the lake to uh, save time and uh, I'm likely gonna need snowshoes. Oh, I've been to this location um, three, three, four times now and um, I said I have some cool drone footage that uh, I'm likely going to put on this video. I've, I've had it on previous a previous Ells Creek video, but uh, I might use some more footage on this one as well. I don't have my drone with me today. Um, actually, my drone's still out of commission, but uh, I'm thinking about getting a Mavic Mini. But, um, I have lots of footage because uh, because I've been here three times and uh, that's the beauty of uh, uh, revisiting a location. You already, uh, you already know uh, what shots are available and uh, what I can improve on and, um, and I can use some of the photos and footage that I uh, that I took years ago, or last year. And uh, I believe it's Adam Gibb. Adam Gibbs from uh, Quiet Light Photography always says uh, that it's well worth your while returning to the same location over and over again. And uh, if, you haven't, uh, if you haven't been to his channel, um, I'll leave a link at the bottom, but uh, Adam Gibbs is, uh, he's kind of my mentor. Um, I've always, always, always been interested in hiking and photography. And um, I started watching his channel and uh, I was quite envious at first uh, because he lives in BC and beautiful, beautiful scenery. And uh, I started to think to myself, Ontario has beautiful scenery. <laughs> I can do the same thing. So I'm out on the lake. It's not a lake, it's a river. It's like a, it's like a pond. It's like the, when the river comes to a big pond. But uh, it's safe. There's deer tracks across here. Uh, I'm pretty sure a deer weighs more than me. It should be no problem getting in here and out by five o'clock. It was uh, 12 o'clock when I left the Jeep at the parking lot. So, five hours to get in and out. There should be lots. Woo! I'm not sure if I want to go up on the hill. Um, the scenery is probably nicer up there. But, uh, tough going. Tough going. I'd rather be down here on the ice.
up here. There's campsites. Awesome, awesome campsites. And uh, it took me no time at all to get here walking on the riverbed. Normally, this is on the other side of the beaver dam that, or the beaver creek. There's a creek that runs up here, and it's all swamp. It's a beaver creek, and uh, in order to get across it, you gotta go across a log or something, or swim across like the dogs. Uh, I have to take this coat off already. And then uh, <clears throat> when I get to the waterfalls, I'll have something dry to put on. I have coffee, I have water, and I have two egg salad sandwiches. We're standing on slush. Look at it. Microphone is working. I got one layer off. Uh, one of these times I'm going to camp there. Maybe in the spring. And there's some really nice sites up around the bend too. Um, we came May 2 4 weekend last, last year and it was packed. I'd like to know what happened to the sun. Let's keep on moving, folks. So, I gotta get off of here. Ooh. Come on, Nixon, hurry up. This is not good. We're slush. We're walking on slush. Nixon is not happy. Okay, we're over. I think the water's running pretty quick. All right, we're off. We're off the river. Oh my God, stop stepping on my snowshoes. I don't think the dogs like to sink in the snow. They're stepping on my snowshoes. Tapped across this small little lake. And High Falls is on the other side. And I don't recommend anyone cross this lake in winter. If you risk it, it's on you, not me. Riverbed safe and sound. And uh, I don't know if you can hear the waterfalls over there, but uh, we're like not even five minutes up the hill, and I can hardly wait to get this backpack off and 
set up my tripod beside the waterfall and have a coffee. Whew. Awesome. So I'm kind of wet, so I'm going to remove the outer, the wetware my microphone and uh, just try and dry off some of the sweat. I'm shaking the microphone. I'm just trying to dry off some of the sweat and then I'm going to put my my downfield coat on. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Um, I have absolutely no light. It's cloud cover. But you make the best of it. This is just uh, well worth the trek. Love this mountain warehouse coat. It's not heavy, but it keeps the heat in. Speaking of keeping the heat in, so now that I've stopped moving, I have to be very careful. It's, it's not cold, but um, you still have to be careful you don't uh, start shivering, freezing up. I'm just going to sit and have a coffee.
didn't get any good light at all. It's starting to snow, but um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not always about the photography. This place is incredible. And um, it was a good outing, even though the light sucked. We were supposed to get sunshine today. We didn't get sunshine, but it could be worse. I mean, it could be uh, minus 30 and then I wouldn't be out here at all. But uh, successful trip, even though I didn't get any light. Uh, we'll see what the pictures look like, but uh, I'm sure uh, I'm sure I got something. So um, it's time to get out of here before uh, I'd like to get out of here before dark. Oh my God, Nixon! Oh my God, he steps on my snowshoes. All right, I'm up. <laughs> oh, I'm never going snowshoeing with these dogs again. I'm lying. I'll take them again. How could I not? Yeah, I know, I'm not going back on the same path. I'm walking through the forest. Nixon, get off my snowshoes! Made it to the first portage. <laughs>